Alrighty, hey guys, this is Garrison over at Massey Toyota. And here in front of me we do have a 2012 BMW X5 xDrive 35i. Now xDrive does signify that this vehicle is all-wheel drive and 35i is going to be your engine designation. But we'll take a look at the engine in a second. Now coming to our wheels, we are riding on Michelin Latitude Tour tires. These are going to be our 18-inch alloy wheels. And then coming around back, we have rear parking sensors as well as our dual outlet exhaust. The vehicle is in the Alpine white exterior with the beige leather red interior. Now coming back in, looking at your key fob, go ahead and press unlock right here. We do have the other key fob inside. And then to start up, just go ahead and put your key in the ignition right here. Put your foot on the brake to start. We'd have 61,041 miles on this vehicle. So let's go ahead and check out underneath the hood. Now coming underneath the hood, you have a three liter dual overhead cam inline six cylinder engine. It does have a twin power turbo attached to it that's one turbo with two scrolls to produce 300 horsepower and 300 foot pounds of torque to all four wheels through an all wheel drive system and an eight speed automatic. And you are running on required premium fuel. So let's go ahead and check out the interior. Now coming back in, as I said before, we do have that beige leather red interior. It is going to be a fully powered driver's seat with your four-way power lumbar and your two-person memory right there. And then coming to your door panel, nice padded materials up top, padded stitched leather red on your armrest, power windows, as well as mirrors, some door storage down below, and your padding does follow through all the way down here. Go ahead and close up your door. Over here to the left of the steering wheel, we do have our automatic headlights, fog lights, and panel dim. And then coming to that steering wheel, it is a three-spoke leather-wrapped wheel. We do have our audio controls, as well as our voice commands and Bluetooth. Over here on the left, we do have our blinkers, as well as driver information system for our um, little center screen right over there, as well as our cruise control. Then over on the right, we do have our variable automatic wipers. Now coming to your dashboard, it's all going to be a nice soft touch material up top. Coming to your audio system, this is going to be your base iDrive unit. You have AM, FM, USB, and auxiliary inputs on this vehicle. And it's all controlled through your iDrive controller right down here. Of course, we can't forget about CD as well. Now, all your vehicle settings, BMW Assist, and stuff like that can be controlled through this um, BMW iDrive controller as well. With shortcut buttons to your telephone, menu, CD, radio, options, and back. And it does rotate, click, and you can select by pressing down. We do have our power locks and hazards right here. Dual zone auto climate control with your fan speed, temperature, and your zones on each side. They are independently controlled. We also do have tri-stage heated seats for our front passengers. Now here's that CD slot. We have six presets in this vehicle. And if you do rest your hand on it, it will show you the previews. So you can see what the actual preset is before selecting it, which is a really nice premium touch. We do have our volume as well as power button for our audio. Parking sensors traction control off, hill descent control, and our rear power trunk options as well. Some storage right here with a 12 volt power outlet, and then cup holders right there. Now coming here, we, this is going to be your eight speed automatic. Hold down, unlock, and pull back for drive. We'd have a manual shift mode right over here with sport mode. Press once for neutral, unlock, all the way up for reverse. And as you can see, your parking sensors will show up here. Mirrors do tilt down as well. Press P for park. Speaking of park, we do have our power parking brake and auto hold feature right there. And then opening up our clamshell glove box, we do have our auxiliary and USB as well as another 12 volt outlet. Glove box, press this button right here and it will clamshell open just like your center console. We do have all our owner's manuals in there, everything down to the original window sticker as well. We have our manually dimming rear view mirror right here. Mirror and vanity lights right here on your sun visor as well as some illumination up top and your SOS commands. So let's go ahead and check out the rear seat. Now coming back here, of course your beige leatherette does carry through, all nice and padded, even over here next to the, the door, which is a nice touch. Coming in with this front seat, 7x5 foot 9 driving frame, plenty of knee room, plenty of foot room for me to stretch out. All your door materials do follow through as well. Padding up top, padded stitch leather on your armrest, as well as that door storage. We have dual seat map pockets back here, as well as rear AC vents, two power outlets, and some storage. And then over here to my right, nice armrest, does fold down, padded, 
right here we do have the cup holders that are hidden. Lifting that back up, as you can see up top we do have damped cornering handles and some illumination. So let's go ahead and check out the rear cargo area and then we'll wrap up the video. Now coming around back, to open up your power hatch, just go ahead and press the membrane beneath your BMW logo and it will open right up. It is a two-piece hatch, so you can go ahead and lower the tailgate if you would like to. And then you do have an abundance of room behind your second row. And of course those seats do fold flat for more storage. Just some storage over here, as well as a 12 volt power outlet right over there in our front floor mats. Plenty of storage room underneath your floor as well. So we'll go ahead and lift up our tailgate. Press this button right over here to close it up. And then we'll take a quick glance, show you how clean the passenger side is over here. And then our front passenger seat as well. You do have your power adjustments right over here for the passenger seat. And so that'll be it for this 2012 BMW X5 xDrive 35i. Now if you are interested in this vehicle or any other model out here at Massey Toyota, feel free to contact them. All the information is in the description below. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video.